Thank you. I appreciate that welcome. I wish I had that all the time. So um, I guess I'll echo the comments that so many have made. It's phenomenal to look out here and actually see real life people. So thank you. Uh, also to the organizers of ASRS and OIS, thank you for allowing us to be just a small part of this meeting. Uh, we're very proud to be a sponsor and I appreciate the few minutes that I get to, to spend up here. So you may be wondering, what's a commercial guy from Regeneron doing on the stage at OIS? What could he possibly tell us about Regeneron and then potentially ILEA that we, uh, that we don't know? So I'm gonna take a little bit of a different tact. I'm not going to go through detailed clinical data so you can relax for the next seven minutes. Um, but I am gonna share with you some aspects about Regeneron that you may not be aware of. So you probably know us best for ILEA, and that is appropriate. We're in an ophthalmology meeting. Um, we've changed a lot over the last few years, but we still kind of have that science at our heart. What you may not be aware of is we actually have nine approved FDA medicines. One of the things we're very proud of is that, and this is unique, by the way, in our space, is that we actually essentially made our research, just discover, and commercialize all of our products in-house. Um, that doesn't happen very often. Um, over 175 peer-reviewed uh, publications in uh, just the last full year alone. One of the things that's really neat about us is that clearly I am not a scientist, but a lot of my colleagues are. Um, if you ever spend time in our, uh, any of our facilities, you'll notice there's more white coats than, than suits. And in fact, those people have actually made us number one uh, for an employer um, in Science Magazine for seven of the last 10 years. One thing I'll talk about real briefly as well is our Regeneron Genetic Center. Uh, we're very proud of that and we think it's something that sets us apart. So I just got finished saying that we develop everything in house and that is true, but we're certainly not above um, collaboration. Two things that I'll mention we could spend all day talking about the very, the many partnerships we're part of is Alnylam, which is uh, some RNAi therapeutics that might have some potential implications in the ocular um, industry. And then we have over a hundred different collaborations with our Regeneron Genetic Center alone. And I'll speak to that a little bit more in a minute. So again, we're a lot more than just ILEA and a lot more than just ophthalmology. We'll get there in a second, but we actually have 37, 37 different projects under development across three phases. Eight of them are in phase three, but probably equally, if not more impressive, the majority of them are in phase one and phase two. And that's across a wide variety of therapeutic spaces including in the retina space. Um, so we're not sitting in our laurels with ILEA, we're actually pretty busy. Some of the medicines we do have, and I won't go through all these, but su suffice to say, we're in the retina and ophthalmology space, we're in dermatology, we're in rheumatology, we're in hematology, uh, immunology, uh, asthma, allergy, pulmonology. We're, we're quite busy in a lot of different therapeutic spaces. And if things go well, um, hopefully we intend to add a few to this board as well. So one of the things I mentioned, which is really unique, we don't talk much about, is um, the Regeneron Genetic Center. A hundred different collaborations alone, just with this subsidiary, if you will, of, of Regeneron. Uh, we are actually um, sequencing 500,000 exomes every year. And the goal here, obviously, is to be able to utilize this data to harness that technology and more rapidly research and discover um, treatments to diseases that might not otherwise be so easy to do. Um, in the past, uh, what took years, if not uh, decades, were actually able to do quite quickly. And I'll, I'll show some examples of that in a minute. So one of the things that we have, in addition to the genetic center, is what we call VelociSuite. And that's a, a suite of different technologies without getting too much into detail that essentially allows us to look at, for instance, any virus and come up with an antibody a human antibody, I should say, to that virus in a matter of months. And that was something that was virtually unheard of uh, not too long ago. Um, you may or may not know that we have the first ever approved, uh, FDA approved treatment for Ebola, highly, highly effective. You guys, if you watch the news, you probably realize that we have a treatment for COVID-19 also developed with this technology as well. Um, the thought that you could discover and commercialize something in the matter of months uh, is something that was probably un unprecedented up until recently. Um, I won't spend a lot of time on this just due to time, but I did mention that that technology did help us to develop Regencove. Um, we have supplied millions of doses to it, to, of it to the DOD and to the government, and we continue to do that uh, today. Judging by the size of this room, it's entirely possible that some of you know somebody who's actually received it. So, but this is OIS. So what about ophthalmology? 
Um, I will tell you 2021 was anything but a routine year. I think we'd all attest to that. We're in a live room for some of us the first time. Um, we had planned to attend roughly 46 of these virtually or live. I will tell you that we have far surpassed that. It's been a very busy year. Investigator studies, the, uh, you know, the percentage of those completed to date in the last full year, um, we are not slowing down. We've actually increased our commitment in the ophthalmology space over the last several months, and we look forward to doing more. Um, without spending too much time in ILEA, you guys are, are probably well aware, I would say most of you, of what ILEA is, indicated for wet AMD, DME, diabetic uh, retinopathy, as well as macular edema following RVO. You may not be aware, all of you anyway, that it is still the number one prescribed anti-VEGF that's FDA approved for these indications. Obviously, we're very happy, very proud of the efficacy from an anatomic and uh, dosing flexibility standpoint. But these days, we're equally, if not more proud, of the demonstrated safety profile, as well as the legacy we have with well over 13 million doses just in the US alone. If you looked at the, the world, it would be exponentially more. If you're not aware, it's now uh, actually just in the last year or so available in a pre-filled syringe. This is what it looks like. This is how the overwhelming majority of ILEA is supplied today. And I won't spend much time on this because it's probably more appropriate for your offices, but we stand behind our services. 82% of your patients do have access to it first line, geographically dependent, of course. Um, but for those patients that need help um, in your offices, we 100% stand by it. We feel like it's the best program in the industry. And then lastly, I do have to mention, obviously, there are warnings and precautions. I think anybody who's a treating physician is most likely aware of these. Um, but um, again, there's, there's no, no drug without side effect. And uh, you do have to be careful with uh, interventional injections uh, as far as endophthalmitis, retinal detachments, increased IOP. Um, always a, a small but, uh, but real risk of uh, ATEs with any of EGF. And then obviously the most common adverse uh, reactions are those that you're probably quite familiar with. So in wrapping it up, um, I will also say too that we're not just partnered with and aligned with you, the physicians, or um, you know, your offices. We're also aligned with the patients. Whether it's the American Diabetes Association, whether it's preventing blindness, we're extremely active in the advocacy space as well. We will continue to do that for years to come. We feel like it's one thing to have a great product or products. It's quite another to make them accessible, and those two have to go hand in hand. So in closing, I would say that we are committed to not just the ophthalmology space, but the retina space today and for many years to come. Um, I look forward to hopefully being at this meeting next year and the year after and the year after. So um, thank you for your time very much, and we'll give you back nine seconds. Thanks.